Hi there. My name is Casey Mraz with Ethical SEO Consulting and Lawyer SEO Marketing. Uh, for the past six or seven years, I've been helping attorneys get found online in some of the most competitive markets, including Los Angeles, for keywords like Los Angeles personal injury lawyer, Los Angeles car accident attorney, uh, brain injuries, and the list goes on. Uh, I was taking a look at your website today, and I had some feedback that I thought uh, you might find interesting. And uh, so let me just go ahead and dive right into that. So first and foremost, you have uh, a nice website here. Looks like it's uh, established and it's been around for a while. Um, what I was doing after looking at your website here is I also Googled your name, your law firm name. And this is where we start seeing some of the problems that I kind of wanted to point out to you. One of them being is that when I Google your law firm name, what we have that pops up here is a local result, okay? And this local result does not have any... Um, reviews associated with it. So this is your actual business address, of course, and with this there's no views or stars or anything. The problem with that is that when people are typing in um, keywords that are related to your business, like California personal injury lawyers, which I did not see ranking for, uh, your competitors all have these stars, okay? So the more reviews you have, the more likely you are to get higher click-through rates uh, and then, of course, hopefully sign more cases. So going back to your website and taking a look at it, the reason I use California Personal Injury Lawyers is because you can see up here uh, in the upper left-hand corner is that what's, that's what your site is optimized for primarily. There's, this is called the title tag, and right now this is not SEO best practices because there's too many uh, words in that title tag. So even if you did show up for that, it would truncate it. It, would, it wouldn't even show all that information in the search results um, right here because it's way too much information. So that's kind of some SEO 101 stuff. It's kind of interesting uh, that your pages are that way. The other thing that I noticed is your website um, is very similar to, uh, quite frankly, a lot of the other attorneys out there. So it, motor vehicle accidents, yes, that is obviously a practice area that you serve, but car accidents are searched more. So. Honestly, if I was optimizing it, that's something I would change too, is uh, make those more car-related words. Uh, but the thing is, is if you're doing that, you're still not standing out from the pack. How many attorneys right now are trying to rank for motor vehicle accidents or car accident lawyers in Los Angeles? There's literally thousands upon thousands of results there. And the problem with most websites these days is that they're all the same in that sense. Yes, you probably have unique content on your website, which is very important uh, as far as the search engines are concerned, but that's only one step of the process. The way that uh, we're going to start seeing more of these law firms win uh, are the law firms that really put the effort into showing up and, and trying to rank above their competition the right way. And what the right way would be would be to separate yourself from your competition and not creating these pages that are just more generic and towards a practice area, but rather in another sense uh, the resource, the ultimate resource for a client. So if you have a client looking for, um, yeah, if you have a client, you know, looking for personal injury lawyer or car accident lawyer, they may not be typing in just car accident lawyer. They might be typing in, what do I do after a car accident? Or my car was hit on the, on the 405 today, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, anyway, it was just kind of, uh, very interesting here. Uh, to see that and uh, to see that that your website fits in with that, but you can do so much better for sure. So um, anyway, I think that uh, that there's a lot of opportunity here. Uh, another thing is for the attorneys, let's take a quick look at that, is you have your list of attorneys here and they have bio pages, which is great. Um, people are doing, consumers are doing more research now. So when they're looking for information, they are typing in the attorney's name. And it's good that the first two results here are your website, and actually the first four results rather. But the other thing is too, is people are looking for third party information. So making sure that you have continued high rankings on uh, Avo, Fine Law, um, Lawyers.com, which it looks like you have right here already, and are maintaining that moving forward, you're gonna have a lot of opportunity here to beat your competition because this, even though you have this peer rating, you know, there's still some you can do here to uh, optimize that, have your picture up here, make it more user friendly. We're, whenever we're doing anything with SEO, we're thinking about the users and the machines and primarily the users. If a user landed on that page, they would probably bounce, do what I did, hit that back button because they may not have been engaged. 
Now, going back to what I was saying is if people are uh, actually typing in your law firm or things like that, your name, there's a lot of reputation management that uh, you have to be aware of. So let me just type in this firm name right now and we'll get a good example. All right, so again, we have your first here. We have your second being Facebook, your third being Super Lawyers, that's great. Uh, four Super lawyer, Lawyers, Yelp, and then we start getting to listings that are probably more out of our control, like Old Pasadena, that's a business directory, of course, for the city. But if I was researching your law firm or typing in this with the word reviews, if I land on a Yelp page, for example, that doesn't have reviews, that's kind of scary for me as a consumer. So increasing consumer trust is also another major thing that we look at when helping clients with their uh, SEO projects. So um, anyway, just wanted to point out a few of those things um, that I think that you can do, um, you know, in long term to succeed and beat your competition. Uh, because if you really want to increase your caseload by sending cases from online uh, sources, that's the type of effort and the type of procedure that I recommend for our clients to really be committed to it and uh, take it from start to finish. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.